have to record this. Um, it's a miracle. But I'm super grateful that um, that you're getting baptized. That um, you are gonna declare to not only to us but to God and the angels over there that God, Jesus is Lord. And this is the best decision you can ever make in your life. Uh, just make sure you repent of all your sins. You got open about every single detail. Um, but it's really amazing to see how um, we're getting all the turners. <laughs> yes. They're all going next. But um but you're welcome home. This is our home. We're your sisters. Man, I really love you. Um I prayed for you. We all prayed and fasted for you. Um and it's just really amazing to see a miracle right now. Mm-hmm. Would anybody else like to share? I'm raising Kayla? my hand. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Kayla. Um so Jasmine, I'm sorry, I look like super funny, but it's cold and my hair is wet. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> um, but I'm really excited for you. Um, like Jocelyn was saying, I definitely believe, I, actually, I, there's no doubt in my mind that this is the sorry. best sorry. decision um, that you'll have ever made in your entire life. And I'm really excited, like just sitting in on uh, one of the studies and just ask, like you asking, like, how do you share your faith? Um, for me, that was it really built my faith, like, um, just to see your eagerness to really just going after being a true disciple. Um, and I'm really just excited to build a friendship with you on Chafee, um, and really, um, embed you into our family and just, um, show you what a sister in Christ is supposed to look like. And I'm just really excited for you. (laughs) Would anyone else like to share? Sean, are you raising your hand? Oh. <laughs> All right. I, oh, go for it. I'd like to say, I'm happy. I'm proud. I know that this is a decision that you've made. I'm glad that you've made it. Hmm. Just like your sister. But focus on yourself. You can't. They were talking today about climbing upstream and not sliding back. And I worry that sometimes you worry so much about other people, including your sister, that you might let yourself lose your own focus. And I'm glad that you have Mm. come this far and that you'll keep going up and trying to reach that goal. And we'll just pray and have faith Mm. that she'll be up there with us. Yay. All right, I wanted to share a quote cool scripture that's helped me for, it's helped me once in a while when I'm like being crazy, but it's in First Peter uh, 18, chapter 1, 18 to 19, it says, For you know that it was not with the perishable things such as silver and gold that you were redeemed from the empty ways of life handed down to you from your ancestors, but it was the precious blood of Christ, and a lamb without blemish or defect. So I just want to share that with you because it's like, you know, like God, paid a price his son for your sins so today is just gonna be great um i totally think you can do it and i know that it's you're gonna do it and you're gonna be faithful and we're gonna be here to help you hey i love you and i'm really excited that you're gonna get dunked <laughs> yeah. yeah all right i'll share for you dude um jasmine i'm super excited that this is real life right now this is actually yeah. happening mm-hmm. it's been such a joy studying the bible with you just to literally see your heart transform um in with with each bible study and i just appreciate how humble you are to the scriptures um there is a scripture that says like when you receive the word of god you took it for what it was which is the very word of god yeah um and i totally yeah. saw that as your heart like you didn't you didn't look at the Bible as like, oh, we're telling you to do this, but you took it for what it was, which yeah. is God um, showing you the way. And um, 
I'm just really excited to see how you're going to just morph even more and be transformed and you've really let the scriptures transform you and I know that it was not easy, um, especially with forgiveness and so it's amazing because God's showing you the ultimate forgiveness today and you're going to be able to extend that to anybody for the rest of your life and so um, I just want to encourage you, this is the best decision that you'll ever make. Mm -hmm. ever ever even if you don't fully realize it right now mm -hmm. this is the best decision that you'll ever make in your entire life um, and just know that the kingdom is like here for you you have so many brothers and sisters and mm -hmm. um, the sky's the limit there are no limits to what you're gonna do with with God oh, and so yeah. uh, I'm just really fired up I believe with all my heart you're such a fighter um, you you fight to to know what the truth is. You fight for your heart to be right, to obey, um, and you're gonna continue to fight to stay faithful to God. So mm -hmm. I love you a lot. I'm super excited for you, and I can't wait to call you my sister. Is he holding? It? Yeah, Sean is holding the camera. <laughs> Good for it, Jade. Yeah. Hi. Um, I'm not gonna say much. Just, um, just to pay attention to First Timothy four sixteen, to watch your life and doctrine closely, uh, perse persevere in them, for you'll save both yourself and your ears. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like, um, maybe just focus, uh, focusing on God and making sure that your life uh, connects to it will help not only yourself but every uh, for all those who are around you. Don't like try and. Nah, I'm lucky you got it. Here. Okay, I was gonna uh, inside joke. I'll, I'll I'll tell you later. But um, <laughs> yeah, just um, if you focus on just uh, your relationship, you'll see how much it impacts those around you. Because again, I tried to get you out for months, and that didn't work. It didn't wait. It didn't help until I stopped going after you. That <laughs> <laughs> you came in, so. Um, Go with it. It's like it's not gonna be easy, but you'll see whether or not it's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. Well, I mean, it's worth it. Amen. Yeah. Alright. Now you can share. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. I'll share scripture that's really helped me mm. as I was uh, studying. It's uh, Matthew chapter seven, seven to eight. It's from the first Bible study I did. Uh, ask and it will be given to you. Search and you will find. Knock and the door will be open for you. For everyone who asks receives, and everyone who searches finds. And for everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Um, I feel like I've been looking for God for a long time and just asking, you know, what do you want from me? But I haven't put it into practice. Mm -hmm. So wow. I'm excited to do that and to find the truth. And I'm really yeah. grateful to these ladies. Come on. Uh, for mm -hmm. swing. Kayla, who was in on one of my Bible studies, <laughs> that you know really helped me. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, Jasmine. Well, I have two extremely important questions to ask you. Um, the first one: Do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? That He lived a sinless life? That He died on the cross for your sins and resurrected on the third day and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Yes. Woo! All right, and question number two, what is your good confession? Jesus is Lord. <laughs> so because of your good confession, we can now baptize you in the super warm water over there. <laughs> All of your sins will be forgiven. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit and will be added to God's kingdom. Cross.